Okay, today is November 8th, 2021. It is a Monday. I'm on my way to the Makerspace, but I stopped by the post office. I've got my desk proper for the 75th anniversary of the NBA. Um, I believe I shared a video of it earlier, but it was in the box now because i got to drop it off. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, no, maybe they'll send it back to me, but at least got to put it out there. I got this one. I got one for the Saints. And I also got an order online, so I got to ship, ship that this week. Uh, as far as the, um, what else is going on, I got a nice size order from the uh, catering service at SMU. But I went to the Makerspace last night to start on it. And it turns out that the laser I need is out. The, the engraving, the special uh, Fusion Pro is down. They said they're going to get a part for it. And we only got one, so I got to wait. I need that to do my soccer um, Spurs um, Spurs soccer logos. I do 70 of those. And I got to do about ooh, maybe about 60 to 70 of those labels for the food. So a couple of big jobs are on hold because I'm waiting for that machine. I was actually looking online to see how much it is to, to lease one. And they're like 350 a month. I'm not there yet, but I'm really considering like I need to need to have something else because like, depending on the makerspace to run a business is not the best idea. They got three Thunders, so there's normally one running, but there's only one Fusion Pro. And now once you start using that Fusion Pro, you can, you know, anything else just seems just antiquated. Um, that's where I am right now. Uh, what else I'm doing? I'm doing some uh, different different things, but I'm doing some Arc Smart. Well, I take words and turn them to acronyms. I did the Calls of the American Revolution. I posted that. So I'm going to do more of that over the weekend. I realize I have some free time on the weekend. I need to use it to be productive. Um, I think it's a pretty cool concept. I think it just helps people remember and recall information. You know, my thing is if you if you learn one of these acronyms, you'll be in the you know, top 10% of people who have knowledge of that. Like, I mean, what are the causes of the American Revolution? And... You know, the alliance with France and the French and Indian War, the money with the Townsend Act, the um, repeal of Townsend Act after the Boston Massacre, um, the um, intolerable acts after the Boston Tea Party, uh, which was also called the Corsa Acts, um, and the First Continental Congress met to uh, deal with that, but he decided not to obey him, oh, and then uh, to stop trade with Britain, and um, to the form a militia. So that's those sort of things that, you know, historical facts that led up to the American Revolution. And I use the acronym America for that. To help me remember those facts. So it's things like that I'm, I'm really getting into, doing different things with science and math eventually. <clears throat> so something to think that helps me remember things, so I'm going to share with everybody else. So that's just a plug-in for that. Maybe something will come out of it in the future, but I'm just kind of laying the groundwork of what I want in the future. All right, I'm running late to work. As always, I'm going to go drop this off and get my butt to work. All right, I'm out.